The ACO 3068, as the name implies, is a 68 key non-RGB mechanical keyboard that sells for around $99. I got this particular model from GearBest.com, and if you'd like to purchase one for yourself by the end of this review, please use our affiliate link in the video description. The black body and grayscale keycaps with blue accents are a striking combination. And this is a 65% board, which is incredibly space efficient. It has most of the keys you're normally going to use, but none of the fat. There is no space between any of the keys. You even get dedicated arrow keys and a full number row. But if this is not quite enough for you, there is a slightly larger 84 key version, which features a full function row. It features 85% PBT plastic, which is a higher quality plastic than you'll traditionally find on your average keyboard. It's less susceptible to shine or discoloration, and overall just a more durable material. And this board has true Cherry MX mechanical switches, and comes in red, blue, and brown variants. And like many other keyboards I've reviewed recently, this has a detachable USB-C cable, but this isn't just for convenience. The keyboard has its own internal battery and connects via Bluetooth 3.0. You can have up to three profiles and connect across various devices and ecosystems. The battery is 1800 milliamp hours, which is a pretty decent size, especially considering there's no backlighting here. It's not going to consume as much as something like my original Drevo Caliber would, which drained its battery life in about three days. This will last 120 hours of continuous use, or so they say, and up to 250 days of standby time. And the whole thing recharges via a thick, but relatively short USB-C cable. And included with the packaging material is an additional set of keycaps. You can either make the keyboard entirely grayscale or add pops of blue or purple accents. Subjectively speaking now, this is one of the best looking keyboards I think I've ever reviewed. Now typically, I do enjoy some tasteful, well-coordinated RGB effects with my keyboard, and just when I work in a dark room it's nice to have the letters backlit, but for a keyboard that has zero RGB effects whatsoever, this thing definitely turns some heads. And that font choice is so unassuming that I almost forgot to mention it. It feels like a high quality product, being very heavy and exhibiting virtually no flex. However, I did notice that USB-C connection gets disconnected pretty easily. If you just bump it, it seems to disconnect. And if you don't notice, you could go several hours without realizing your board isn't charging if you're still connected over Bluetooth. The keycaps, however, are what really sets this board apart and they are exceptional. They have a slightly coarse texture all around and feel like they have a bit more heft, making more of an impact as you type. The edges also come to a much sharper point. Die sublimated legends on the keycaps provide unmatched protection against wear and tear, meaning you'll never have to worry about rubbing off the letters. However, they seem a little fuzzier than the crisp edges you get from double shot ABS letters, but honestly at this point we're just nitpicking. The 65% layout has quickly become my favorite layout. It has all the keys I need for 98% of the time, and it has a footprint small enough that I can easily just take it with me on the go. And that wireless connectivity also makes that all the easier. The downside of this configuration is that it makes these non-standard keycap sizes that could make finding replacements a little bit more difficult than it would otherwise be. However, I can easily say these are the best factory keycaps I have ever used. That in combination with the fact that they include additional keycaps with the packaging means you probably won't have any desire to replace them. There are no flip out feet on the bottom, but the board is angled a bit more aggressively than a normal keyboard would be. And the non-slit pads in combination with the added heft do an excellent job of keeping the board planted. I can probably count on one hand the number of keyboards I've tested that have true Cherry MX mechanical switches. The difference in performance between the switch types isn't huge, but the price difference can sometimes be pretty big. So it's usually more of a practical choice to go with a budget-oriented device and use more budget-friendly switches. That's not to say there is no difference. Cherry, Kale, and Gatoron are more of a high-end switch, and you can definitely feel that. The tolerances are much tighter. There is very little variability between the keystrokes. The genuine Cherry MX switches and phenomenal PDT keycaps combine to create a remarkable typing experience.
The Bluetooth connection was about 98% reliable and the range was pretty impressive at about eight or nine meters through several obstructions. However, I was disappointed that it's only Bluetooth 3.0. The input lag was definitely noticeable, but not overly distracting. I obviously wouldn't recommend using this in a professional setting where every millisecond counts, but for casual gaming, word processing, standard computer use, using it wirelessly should function just fine for you. If you do need to cut down on that input lag time, you can always plug in the keyboard where it will then function as a wired keyboard, provided you turn off the Bluetooth from the back. The battery claims to get 120 hours of continuous use. Now it's tough to test a battery life that long reliably, but I can say it easily gets me through a couple weeks of regular use without needing a fill up. On paper, a $99 keyboard that's missing almost half of its keys and without any backlighting to speak of doesn't sound like much of a bargain. If you're attached to the idea of a number pad or you're looking for something a bit more luminous, then I'd be inclined to agree. However, I can say, without a doubt, this is the best typing experience I've ever had for under triple digits. Thanks for watching, guys. If you appreciated this video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment below on the types of keyboards you want to see us review. That's kind of becoming a forte of ours. We get a lot of keyboards in here. If you want to see more compact keyboards like this? Let us know. If you want to see other product reviews, then check those out over here. And don't forget to subscribe so you know when our newest content is ready to watch. And also, we run giveaways every month, so make sure you check the video description for those giveaways and also links to find the products that we showcase and also some of our cool merch. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.